the biggest thing that started impacting me was just cognitive functioning. And it was the start of, for me, what's been decades of having chronic fatigue. And so it was directly impacting my line of work. At that point, I was a senior executive in a Fortune 50 company. And I remember going to my primary care physician. And at that point in time, they I think they did an EEG, which showed nothing, um, a CT, which showed nothing, which is very common from what I found out that they don't show up on those tests. And so he sent me to go see a psychiatrist who then hearing the symptoms, put me on the psychological cocktail, which I think so many people follow the same path. And I think that's where oftentimes you get into even more trouble because they're trying to treat the symptoms instead of the underlying cause of what's going on. So is that something that's common that you've seen not only with other veterans, but traumatic brain injury patients? I'm an outsider. I mean, I gave you my background. I trained in infectious disease and public health and prevention. I did not train in neurology or neurosurgery which or sports medicine, which makes me very much an outsider. So it's hard for me to sort of get into those uh, clicks, if you will. But because I'm an outsider, I looked at this problem not with the lens of my training. So cardiologist is looking at the heart and an ortho- orthopod's looking at the bones and you know, and so on and so on. I kind of looked at it more, much more holistic approach because I wasn't hindered by my background and by my training. It was all new to me. I mean, I had to relearn the biochemistry. I had to relearn what I knew about the brain. And I, I mean, I literally had to seek out people to teach me on these things. And so not everybody has that luxury, certainly not in the civilian side where you, you know, if you're not seeing patients are not making money. In the military, I at least had that option. I still had a, a salary and I was in a, I was a professor at the Uniformed Services University. So I had that flexibility outside of teaching my courses. I had that flexibility to develop the research and develop that intellectual knowledge. But doctors don't think that way. Neurologists aren't thinking that way. Neurologists are looking at pituitary. That's the endocrinologist world. Well, the endocrinologist is only looking at diabetes. Um, you know, and they're like, well, that's the brain, that's the neurologist, you know, so nobody's, nobody's taking ownership. There's no concussion doctor. There's no TBI specialty because it crosses over these different specialties. And so it kind of gets lost in that stovepipe, that silo of our specialization in medicine. Nobody's really looking at the bigger picture, that functional medicine or integrative medicine approach. If there is a topic you would like me to cover or a guest that you would like us to showcase on this podcast, please DM me at John R. Miles on Instagram. And if you haven't gone there before, please check out and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is also John R. Miles. And lastly, we have some amazing episodes coming up in the future. I will be interviewing astronaut Kayla Barron, who's getting ready to go up on the ISS in October. I'm also going to interview former astronaut Captain Wendy Lawrence, a distinguished graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy. And I'm going to do those two episodes in tandem so we can talk to an astronaut who is part of the shuttle program who knows Kayla and Kayla's journey as well. I also have NASCAR driver Jesse Luigi, who has won two diversity awards and is now racing in NASCAR Xfinity. I have on Navy SEAL Commander Mark Devine and former SEAL and Dr. Bob Adams. Such great content coming your way. Thank you as always for listening and supporting the podcast.